Um, well, guys, that was an accident. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pain because everybody shall know Pain. And yeah, Data Raw and Sasori been buffed, but because of the fact that you have it where, you know, the whole thing about the change, server change, it makes it difficult. Um, well, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, people are not going to post the buff stats. And so I had to find this on the, uh, what is it, the, um, the wiki page. You can tell it's a lot different from the other one completely. Um, so let's go ahead and go over it. Force. 14,000, growth 12.0, agility 15,000, growth 12.0, chakra 15,000, 13.0, 13 power 120,000, 15.0. Skill, oh my bad, talent, increase massive agility and chakra by percentage, naturally born with 50% speed, 35% damage rate, 35% avoid injury rate. When alive on the battlefield, increase ally speed by 35%, increase Assaulters and Vanguard's HP by 50% and decrease enemy support attack power by 35%. When this ninja dies, randomly apply death to one enemy and 50% chance to another. One attack, 80% chance to faint attacker for one round, one round room. <laughs> Immune to fear reduction and chaos. Now I look at that and, you know, the talent. What I like about it is, okay, you have, you know, as, yeah, as everybody likes. That speed and HP. Nice. I like it a lot. That decrease on uh, supports attack makes it where the DLT is not going to do that much damage. And then this ninja has that death. Well, this is, wait. This is talent. Oh, I'm so stupid. When he die, oh, okay, I, I don't know why. When I looked at it again, I was like, wait a minute. That's not the skill. But when the ninja dies, you get hit with the death. Crowd control. And then a 50% chance to hit someone else. So two year ninjas, there's a chance that two year ninjas... Are going to die if you kill this ninja, and then when attacked, there's a chance to stun. There's a chance that this ninja will stun you. So you have it where the talent, it's cool, it's good. Um, pair it up with, um, if, if you want, pair them up with Guy Kakashi and um, what is it? Oh yeah, Sam Barrow Garo, and that team is you can call it a death team. Because I mean, I mean, obviously the the the, the, um, the death CC won't take effect until Data on Sorcery dies. But in that sense, I mean, imagine I got I think I had mentioned this before. Imagine if you're down to two ninjas to one, Dar Data on Sorcery dies. Oh, I'm sorry. Bam! You just got hit with the D. You just got hit with the death CC, and my Vanguard's left. Next turn, I win the match. You know, that can happen. And then you know. Um, Asha Naruto also has that stun every time you hit them is a chance or oh, have it where every time you hit him there's a chance that you will get stunned. A few to fear reduction and chaos. You can still get stunned. You know, a lot of things can still hit you. Um you're not immune to blind. It, even though you're gonna outspeed um Yahiko and Conan, well naturally you will outspeed, but someone can still make that, can somehow get lucky enough to make their, well, yeah, can do everything they can to make their Yahiko and Conan faster, even though the 65% chance to they put their blind is not that good, you're not immune to it. So, all, all, all in all, I like the speed, I like the HP, real good in the talent, not a skill. Attack all enemies with growth rate of 300%, decrease enemy speed by 50 Give Vanguard Super Flash for one round. Decrease enemies punch rate and A rate by 20% for one round. Decrease enemies healing effects by 70% for two rounds. Recover own fury by 68 and recover allies by 50. Now off the bat, <clears throat> fear reduction, hitting you with 50. Um, accessories could make it a lot higher, so be careful. Well, opponents going up against that, be careful. Um, Super Flash, I mean, most vault. <clears throat> All new vanguards, starting with Orochimaru, Orochimaru, and actually some actually the new some of the new um, assaulters also immune to um, that super flash. Well, not immune, but ignores it. So super flash, I don't really care for it that much. Wow, you can't hit my. We said wow, you're not gonna be able to touch my vanguard. The chance you can't. Um, a rate, I don't know. It'll decrease enemies' punch rate and a rate again. If you're dealing with extra rounds and you want to stop it, that's okay. 
A rate, random assist, that's okay as well. Decrease enemies' healing effects, that will stop timely, shower, timely showers, and it will stop um, Sasuke and Itachi's healing. And then we'll call on Fairy. If if this ninja crit on Fairy crits, they're gonna skill every single time, no matter what. So all in all, this yeah, we all know you guys know this ninja is purely PvP. And I still have I still need um, PvE content to be completed. So honestly, like <clears throat> let's say it got down to the point where it's like, you know what? Skip Naruto, hit Naruto, skip Yaiko and Conan, get Mandara. And then Monora over so give me and then that allows me to have enough um, gold to get data on sorcery. If I do that, those both are those both are PvP ninjas. No deal no um deal to you with any one of them. You know what I'm saying? So and you know data on sorcery is yes after my bad data so the dang data on sorcery is after Monora and Obito. But with those two ninjas, if I had them on my team, let's say I'm running at three one one, I need to at least well my highest amount of DOTs I have on my team is only two. But my crowd patrol stays at three. And if I still got Saratobi and got Tonery, you only got three crowd patrols and only two DOTs. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? So with this ninja, if you were to ask me if this ninja is worth getting PvP, this ninja is good. PvE? I mean, obviously, you know, when a ninja doesn't have DOT, you know, uh, most of us would say, then it's not good for PVE by itself. Definitely not because you don't. I mean, you you just don't have that extra um, damage. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that you know that DOT drain your HP. You don't have that. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> some stay again. Like I don't know what stage will be immune to fear reduction. I mean, might be immune to the Dev CC. In that case, this ninja can't help you in PVE at all, in my opinion. And that's why I don't want this ninja because I I still need to beat PVE content. So I'm going to pass on this ninja, but you guys let me know in the comment section below on your opinions on Data Run Sorcery Buff. Like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Make sure everybody knows about this buff, because I feel like not a lot of people do, so if you want, spread the video. Bye, catch you guys later. Do Sizzah!